In India, what cricket is to sport, Hindi cinema is to art. All our energy and adoration seem to surround these two domains, while the other vast treasures of Indian fine and performing arts languish either in ignored museums, poorly attended concerts, or in the hands of starving artists and craftsmen. The heritage we so like to be proud of is slowly diminishing as one art after another dies out. Because the first step towards action is awareness, Culture Express is starting a series on the arts of India, which are an essential expression of our culture. In today's episode, I give you an overview of the breathtaking width of Indian arts. It is no exaggeration to say that nearly all Indian art is related to religion. Even some of the proto-historic art from the Harappan period is said to have some religious or cultic significance. The Indian artist has almost always used his art to forge a connection with the divine. Art has rarely been for the sake of art, it was meant as a means for salvation. It therefore makes sense to start our survey with the architecture of temples. Though Hinduism and temples are nearly synonymous, the credit for the first temple structures goes to the Buddhists. They started with rock-cut temples, viharas and stupas, which eventually inspired Brahmanical caves and structural temples. In cave art, the sites of Ajanta and Elora are world famous. Most of you will also be familiar with the huge domed structures that are Buddhist stupas, such as the ancient one at Sanchi and a modern one at Nagpur. Examples of Hindu structural temples are varied and numerous and can be classified mainly into Nagara and Dravida type temples based on their locations in North and South India respectively. Temples bring to us the subject of sculptures which Indian craftsmen were renowned for. Since wood perishes, we are left mostly with testimonies in stone and metal. There are innumerable instances of Hindu, Buddhist and Jain sculptures across the country some famous examples being Konark, Khajuraho and the Brihadishwara temples. In tandem with canonical literature, Indian sculptures were replete with rich iconography. But iconography wasn't confined to temples. India's numismatic history also gives us glimpses of great craftsmanship. Ancient India's finest coins with images of kings and deities were minted as early as the first century before Common Era during the Kushan period and achieved artistic perfection notably through the Gupta and Mughal periods. The other side of the coin, literally, was the development of scripts. This art reached its zenith in Islamic calligraphy. Other notable Islamic influences were in the spheres of architecture and painting. We are all familiar with the awe-inspiring beauty of the Taj Mahal, the Humayun's tomb and other similar structures. Mughal miniature paintings are also very well known. But there were other similar styles and schools that developed around the same period. Rajput, Malwa, Mewar and Pahari paintings are such examples. But the medieval art of painting was not restricted to miniatures. Fine arts thrived in the manuscript tradition as well as through murals in temples and monasteries. The other important traditions that were being created and nurtured in temples were those of classical music, dance and dramaturgy. Drawn from the ancient treatise of Natya Shastra by Bharat Muni, each school of dance and music developed its distinctive style and personality. We are all aware of the classical dance forms of Bharat Natyam, Kathak, Kuchipudi, Kathakali, Odissi, Manipuri, etc. These dances have chiefly religious themes with stories from the epics and Puranas being acted out. They are usually performed to the accompaniment of vocal and instrumental music. The two main divisions of Indian classical music are Hindustani and Carnatic, each with its grammar and a number of sub-schools. The richness of these performing arts also bring to attention allied fields like textiles, jewellery and other handicrafts. And let's not forget the culinary arts that nourish the body, like fine arts nourish the soul. Each of these arts and crafts have amazing histories and specimens, and we at Culture Express will help you explore, understand and appreciate them better in this series. Thank you for watching this video, and if you like it, do share, subscribe and come back for more. Namaskar.